everybody, I hope you are all well and welcome back. I am so excited to be sharing today's video with you all. It is a decorate, organise and clean with me of my son's bedroom. So for anybody that doesn't know, we have just recently moved and the boys finally have back their own bedrooms and I really wanted to make this bedroom really, really nice for my eldest son who is eight. So I've been busy squirreling away and making some purchases and today is the day that I'm going to completely redecorate his bedroom for him so when he comes home from school it's all going to be done. So we've got beds and furniture to build and things to tidy and put away and all sorts. There is a lot to do. I need to reorganise all the room but I'm so excited for him. We've got lights and pictures and all sorts to put up. I may actually need my husband's help for some of that so he may do a little bit of it when he comes home and um, i'm still yet to decide on some blinds but i'm going to work on that as well and yeah i am going to get started so i'm going to show you what the room looks like now and then you can join me as i clean organize and redecorate it all okay so this is his bedroom at the moment it is an absolute state his new bed's under there my son is so oblivious that he doesn't even pay attention to this sort of stuff um, but at the moment he has no drawers. We had the Ikea Pax wardrobes and they had all the built-in storage in the last house, but we've not brought them to this house. They're in the garage and being used in the garage, which means he has no drawers in here whatsoever, storage, bless him. So the last few weeks we've been living like this. I need to take this washing out. It's just being stored in here for the moment, but then all of his washing down here needs to be organized and put away so we can actually find stuff. Um, yeah, I've got quite a bit to do. Um, he's got like, toy boxes over there and then I've got loads of furniture to bring in but I don't know if you can see actually how how high this bed is um it's a tad bit ridiculous this was part of his bunk bed so I don't know if you can see the mattress on it as well um but this bed went on top of the other bunk bed that's in my other son's room and it is so high up off the floor like I'll just show you um I don't know if you can see but like my <laughs> my legs hardly reach the floor so it's really 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 big so yeah, we need to change out this bed, build his new bed, build his furniture, tidy it all up. So I'm gonna get started.
So as you can see, now that I've moved everything out of the way, I am popping together the bed. And I cannot believe the bargain that I got on this bed. This bed is almost identical to the bed that we had down in Devon. I'm pretty sure I filmed room tours and I actually filmed his bedroom makeover down in Devon about five, six years ago now. So I'll leave that link below for you, but we actually had it in a double size at the time. Now we don't actually need a double bed for him. We only had a double bed back then because we had guests come to stay, but I purchased this bed and I cannot believe what bargain I got on this bed. I will leave it linked below for you. But I can almost say that doing this bedroom and redecorating with new bedroom furniture, lights and things like that came to well under £200. I am so in love with what I managed to pick up. I got so many bargains. So I'll leave everything that we have purchased in the description box below for you. But yeah, I absolutely love this bed. I think they look very stylish and they very much grow with your child. You can kind of jazz them up and change the style of the room, but keep a lot of the basic furniture, which is what I'm really going for with this.
Now, on this particular day, I was actually running really, really limited with my time. Hudson was at nursery and I was meant to do this the week prior, but he ended up being home all week because he was poorly. And this was a complete surprise. So Clayton, my eldest son, had no idea I was decorating his bedroom. He had no idea any of this furniture was here. And I was trying to get it all done. And by gosh, these drawers that you see me unpacking now... I cannot believe how long they took me. Now, I actually adore flat pack furniture. I'm one of those weirdos that likes it. I find it really, really easy to do. But I cannot tell you, this took me hours to put together these drawers. It took so long, unnecessarily. It wasn't even complicated. There was just so many screws that just weren't necessary. Well, they probably are, but you know, it was a lot harder. You know how they always say like IKEA flat pack is an absolute mission? This was 10 times worse. out of bed and i still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like i'm wasted every time i see your face i'm losing track of time and space i don't know where i am it's like i'm wasted and i won't waste it and i promise that i i will stand by you forever i can't get you out of my Now, cuz 
Cause I don't wanna slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted So I was then trying to figure out how I wanted his bedroom to look and which way round I wanted the bed and things like that. It took me a while to get this all figured out in my head because I wanted it so that he couldn't look out of his bedroom and see directly into his brother's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so they wouldn't muck around of an evening um but I also had to be careful of where like certain plug points were and things like that for his tv to go to you know I was just figuring it all out really um I must say I do love these drawers however after popping them up they're not very big so visually they look lovely and they're actually big enough for what we need them for but if they were for an adult, um, for what I would want to store in my drawers, I don't really think they would be big enough. But if you haven't got too much to store in drawers, then I do think they are perfect and they do look lovely. We do actually need to tie them to a wall though and still attach them. And now I'm putting up these prints and oh my God, I'm so in love with these prints. And I know that Clayton is going to be absolutely in love with them as well. He is obsessed with Manchester United. That is his team. He's obsessed with Marcus Rashford. Um, but they came in as an A3 size and they didn't fit the bloody frames that I'd picked up, which was super frustrating. Um, so I had to go and cut them all down, which isn't too much of a bother. But these prints I absolutely love. And I actually asked the seller that I purchased them from on Etsy if they could give me a discount code for you guys. So I will leave that link below because they do lots of different prints. So definitely go on over, check them out. I think they were really reasonably priced. And then I just picked up these frames from Wilco's. I have still got a few more things that I haven't included in this video that we still need to do to this room. But like I said, this was obviously me just trying to get the crux of it done. But I do think that prints are a really nice way to change up a room, change up the feel of a room and the style of a room and that kind of design that you're after. And it's a really easy way to change them up quite quickly as well. Like if I change up his bedding and change up these prints, I could literally have a whole different feel going on in this room. So it is something that I like to do quite often without kind of painting an entire wall red um, and things like that. And I'm not going to lie, I also never thought I would be the mum that would have football prints on her wall. I never really thought that I would do that. But you know, my kids love football. Clayton is obsessed and I really wanted this room to be what he liked. So... I think I've done that quite tactfully without being too OTT in this video. And you'll also see that I'm using my new Hoover. I will leave this link below. I purchased it and you would have seen that in my last video. I am obsessed with it. It's so good. I mean, as you can see, the really, really quick Hoover lines here. It took me no time at all for that. Um, it is a really, really good vacuum. So I will leave that link below to you guys as well. You make me breathless and I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I'll follow you, yeah said I, I will stand by you forever, and I won't waste it. So as I'm watching this back, I feel like this clip needs like the saying of how many people does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> this should have been the easiest light to put together, but it needed like scrubbing and 
all sorts, honestly. But this is the part where my assistant of my husband comes in to help me because the one thing that I cannot do is use a drill. And it frustrates the life of me that I cannot do that because I am so independent in every other aspect. And I wish I could just crack on and not have to wait for him. But knowing which raw plugs to put in the wall and knowing how to use a drill and get it to go up, I just can't do. Plus, obviously, I'm limited with my height as well. Um, and I don't like ladders. So, you know, we move. But I have now got mountains of washing. What I hadn't realised is there was actually a lot of his brother's clothes in here as well. Clayton and Parker are almost identically the same size in clothes. So there was a lot of that as well. But I was sorting through it all. So if you see me like lobbing some clothes over the other side, <laughs> that's because they're going to be folded up and going into his brother's room, not because I'm being lazy. Like a light lighting up in the dark You make it right, I forgot how to act It's so classic Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words It's been a while since I forgot the most simple words Now I know why I never worked out before I know it would always turn out bad, so bad But every time we start a fight, we always stop in time We both know how to be gentle, never cross the line I feel cool when you're around Like nothing can break me Just whilst we are in the middle of this as well, I also wanted to say a massive thank you to every single one of you guys who has retuned back in with my channel since my break away from it last year. Um, it's so lovely to be back sharing content with you all again and so lovely to be chatting to you all in the comments. Um, please do go on and chat down there, leave me some messages, let me know what you're up to. Honestly, the weather has been insane this week, so I'd love to know if you're feeling it just as much as I am. But for anyone that is new here, my name is Ellis and I share lots of content over here on money and finances, cleaning, decluttering and your mindset as well. I really kind of want to help people organise their homes, manage their money better and really, really kind of help with positive mindset. If that's something you're into, then I would love to have you over here. So please do subscribe and stay tuned. And once again, thank you to everybody that's been here this entire time. It's been a long journey. I've been on YouTube for so many years now and it's so lovely to have you all here with me.
myself if you call it quits I'm gonna stay in this bed until you love me again If you could just listen to what I have to say A minute of your time, that's all I want Then I'm out of your way share with any of you guys who may not realize but I actually have a Simba mattress all of us actually have Simba mattresses not just myself and we all have Simba mattresses and the white top on them it gets quite dirty now I have always manually scrubbed these and tried to keep them clean but obviously it's quite hard we have sheets in that on top of them however I only found out a couple of weeks ago that you could actually wash the top half of these mattresses and um, they just unzip and you can zip them back on I was so shocked, I didn't have a clue that this was a thing, so I'm actually going to be making it my goal now the weather is getting a bit warmer to wash all these top bits because I don't think they can be tumble dried and obviously you do need them to sleep on. So I'm hoping that now I'll be able to pop them outside on the line and get them dried in a day if I do them first thing in the morning. Um, but that was just something that I wanted to share with you guys, that if you have a zip up mattress like this as well, the top half actually comes off. Um, and you can pop it back on and it may be the same for other mattresses as well, I'm not sure. So now that the bedroom is almost complete, I'm actually going to be showing you Clayton's reaction and I'm going to be showing you a little bit of his brother's reaction as well, which is super sweet. His brother is already saying he wants to share a room with him. <laughs> I did not even see that. Is it good? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. What's your favourite bit? The Rashford print. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you'd give you a big boy bedroom. Yeah. Well, he's just, just constantly laying in it. 
because it literally just feels comfy looking at the. Is it nice? Yeah. <laughs> lovely. It's lovely. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> And so there we have it. That is his room complete. Now, like I said, it's not completely finished. We still have some like personal bits to put back up for him. He's got some football trophies and bits and bobs like that. We also need to get up the blinds, which we actually do now have up, but I couldn't decide at the time. And obviously he needed to go to sleep. So we had to show him this room as it was. And I really wanted to film his reaction. And we're also going to be decorating some drawers. I'm going to be upcycling some Kallax units we've got downstairs to make them match his bedroom. So I'm going to be doing all of that as well. But I'm really, really chuffed with how this came out. It was completely redecorated and made as quite like a big boy grown up bedroom for him without being completely overpriced. So I'm really happy with that. I will link everything below and like I said if you do enjoy this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and I will see you all in another video very shortly. Bye guys!